We're going to win very, very big in November, that I can tell you. I have to vote for him. I don't have a lot of choice. I mean, it would be, <laughs> it would be four to eight years of more work. When Trump won, he said, I just won the lottery. Now, let me tell you, I'm a big deal. No one speaks like Trump. Nobody. So many illegals. That's why I think so many people want to impersonate him. You know who you are. And it doesn't matter if it's Trevor Noah or Jimmy Fallon. Everybody wants to get in on this. As an actor, you want something that you can, you know, sell. And for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. When he announced I was still doing the old Trump, I called the old Trump, it was much more, you know, listen, you guys did a terrible job, you're fired. And then when I've seen the, the stump speeches, I'm like, Wow, this is, this is like a different person. Here's a 70-year-old man who's incredibly physical and everyone's doing the thing with their hands and he's kind of hitting certain words like Clinton and China and certain things really hard. So obviously Trump is president. He's not been getting as orange as he had been getting. So um, I've had to back off of that. I'm trying to figure out something that'd be totally different, but yet resonates with the crowd as far as Trump material. There's nine other Trumps, so no matter what I say, someone else is gonna have said before me. I don't know how to prepare for this. How do you prepare for 10 people who are gonna do the same thing? Anybody down there? Uh, two or three Trumps. Two or three Trumps? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, fellow Trumps. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Canada, New Zealand, yeah. New York. Uh, Indianapolis. Oh, weren't you, are you, what is your name? Um, Zane. Oh, okay, okay, yes. there's, there's somebody else. I think he's also a brown guy. Yeah, yeah, you, well, you, well, you all look alike, I have to tell you. You all look alike. <laughs> In character already. <laughs> right. Tremendous. The week before the election, it was just insanely busy. And I did meetings where, you know, it was make security great again, make toenails great again. In a one-year period, I did 250 interviews. CNN did three different stories on me. NBC shadowed me for three days and did a story on me. It's like a dream. I mean, it would be really nice if it was just me out of character, but even very well-known actors didn't get the kind of press that I got in that period of time. Red leather, yellow leather. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many packs of pickled peppers would Peter Piper pick? All right, I'm pretty much ready to go. There's a woman in um, the lineup. I think she's the one from Dubai. Tremendous. You're big league big. Okay, you're big really league, amazing. Big league. Okay. Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> it's just, it's different now. You got it? Let's yeah. do Can you text those or should I we even, change? Even when I go to my YouTube channel, I'm like, shit, I've done a lot of stuff. I take a photo of all of us? But something along the line has just got to catch so you can get more traction. Everybody, let's go. Hey. It'll be interesting to see how each person, you know, presents their Trump. You guys know why you're here, right? Yeah. All right, you keep the energy going. We're going to bring up our first president. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Joseph Wilson, everybody. Joseph Wilson. Thank you, French guys. So we, right? <laughs> Trump is a material machine. We gotta get rid of ISIS. Every single day, there's so much material. Even Bill, I would have done a lot better, okay, believe me. In, in a way, there's actually too much, because as a comedian, you wanna say, what's the audience gonna react to the best? What's everyone gonna know? We're building that wall. 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 Because you wanna really make everything click. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for John Danico. <laughs> I'm so happy that all of you are here for my continuing victory tour and rally all over the country. This is amazing. With all the press that I've had and all the things that I've done, you've got to restart every day, kind of relight the campfire. 
and I don't mind doing that. But sometimes you're like, can I just get a break? <laughs> Why do I have to do it again? But you know, I'm very happy to do it. And as a performer, anytime you get on stage, it's it's great. By a round of applause, who here voted for Hillary Clinton? Tremendous, nobody, fantastic. The, the drug for me is being in front of a live audience. And this was a great audience today. Thank you so much, everybody. You've been tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. So right now, let's bring all of the judges up again. The winner of the John, of the... <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the Donald Trump impersonation, our winner is John Dantanit Cole. I pronounced that right. Come on up here, John. I'll ride this as long as I possibly can. What I'd like to do is kind of, you know, use this as a base and get back to stand up and comedic acting and start auditioning for other things that aren't Trump, Trump things. Somebody ate my sandwich. Son of a bitch. I try not to focus on the politics. I try to stay on him as a personality. I don't want to bash the guy. It's kind of pointless. I'm not going to change anyone's mind politically. He's obviously not going anywhere. If he loses on the next round, he's never going to stop being part of the American landscape because he has to weigh in on everything. You're never going to stop hearing from Donald Trump. Another day in Trump land. <laughs>